725 first hour now of the markets is that we're up 138. That's a counter trend to yesterday. Here's the Goldman shakedown, and there's the Goldman right below that resi <coughs> resistance level. 172.85 is a high on Goldman. And this is that volatility. And by being on the, by being a little bit flatter and waiting toward the end of the day, especially today. Now, unfortunately, probably for the last two hours, I won't be here. But Brian Plain, I will be with him on my cell phone, and he'll be telling me exactly where the contracts are, and I'll be telling you exactly where to buy them. And basically, on this contract here, this one here, we are a buyer. Once I can see that the volatility of the move, where do I really want to be aggressive? Well, let me show you what they did, part of the volatility here. This is what we want, stuff like this, that moved $2. Because yesterday's big sell-off created that purchase, like I said it would. But we were already in enough contracts on this trade. That's why we couldn't get in. We had to deal with what it was right now. And so basically, this contract here is still very tradable, but not in this price range. Okay? Because we're not buying it here. And until I have a whopping buy signal, and I will watch the Goldman trend. Goldman trend has got to do this for me once again. I've got to get above the 50-minute period moving average, and I have to get a MACD buy signal. When I get the MACD buy signal, the drop-down volatility, we will be able to pop it real heavy. Okay? See, I even sold 100 contracts here at 6.30. I made someone eat it. I don't give a damn. Um, the thing about it is, is that when Goldman creates, and Goldman creates the 60-minute buy signal, and people start stepping in, and the markets are starting to get strong, but they were very strong yesterday. Yesterday was FOMC volatility. There is nothing today that would cause this other than the last hour sell-off before the unemployment report tomorrow. We had very good economic data today. And when Goldman creates that signal, then our risk and our volatility will not be the same when that 60-minute buy signal comes into play. And both bear and bull get their nose hammered. The good thing about it now, people, is that we let this thing set itself up. The 50-minute on a 60-minute chart, that's a minute, 50-minute period moving average, it sold off into it. It's dropped, yes, it's, it's come down. Until that thing gets that buy signal and that gets above there, and then we're going to come, okay, 170. Okay, so put it down there. Let me know if it gets to 550. Because if we break up into here, I don't know that we do or not. I do know one thing, that I'm a buyer for this one here. And I'm going to stick to it as far, because until that volatility changes, until that 60-minute chart changes, look at here. See what happened to the bull? They lost $2 in their contracts. They closed at 8.45. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, they're probably not very happy. Now, the thing about the trade, like I said on the other tape, it puts in a low. We're going to see if it goes lower. We're not making any decisions and we're going to watch this so basically it gets back to what I've been saying the 175 put if they take it down to 550 or 520 we would buy it once we have it we got it then we can get that 170 call when would we take off the put if the 60 minute chart did change around well we would come out of that put. But here's the thing about this in the morning. And this is why it requires, so we had 470 here on the low today. And we had 820 on the high. 
That closed at 845. The high was 820. They took two dollars out of there and they put two dollars. They didn't quite put two dollars back into 170 because the high is only 652. And we sold into it, and I don't feel bad about it because the thing about it is selling into it and what a trader has to do is start doing exactly what I said on these tapes earlier, and it's all playing out just like I said. And these contracts are still cheap here. At, we like to get this very cheap, down around the $5 area. That's over $3.45 coming out of the put, which is the wholesale buy. And until Goldman changes around on a 60-minute, and then what we would do is buy it, and then when this pulls back over here, we would buy this. Unless we go in right now and simply buy both. But this is not, this is getting wholesale. This is the side of the trade that the trader has to focus on now, is this side. This side's almost moved $2 off the low. This side's come down $2. And that's the balancing act. Let thy be known thy, and thy shall update thy.